Have you ever walked into a bathroom? Yeah, me too. It's a beautiful place where beautiful things happen. Um, you know, you, you go in there first thing in the morning, uh, have your cup of coffee, uh, read the newspaper, drop a deuce. It's a, it's really a wholesome experience. And we, we here at Toilet Talk LLC, uh, are all about creating experiences of, of wholesome joy around bathrooms. Um, so please join us today as we delve into the mysteries of the of the water boudoir. Uh, Sans the piss and shit. Yeah, no no pissies, no shitties. That's that's the only rule. Hey, if you think you're gonna see a dude, if you're a perv and you're like, hey, I want to see some pee pee and some poo poo right now, nah. But <laughs> Dip out. but we are Dip yeah. Out. Get the get the fuck out of here. But. If you don't want to see those, and you're here for a wholesome water boudoir experience, sorry, I can't even keep a straight face for saying water boudoir. <laughs> uh, you know, you've come to the right place. Toilet talk uh, with your with your hosts, me, Trashcan thirteen twelve, Monk, me, cursed, howdy 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 monk. howdy howdy. It's me, the cursed monk. Wait, the cursed monk. The, the one and only. <laughs> We're not doing this again. We're not having this problem again and, for three weeks in a row. And bread pill. That's me. Uh, Except it is the it's bread the bread pill. pill yeah. So I, I stole it. It's mine now. I took it. And now, uh, right about <laughs> right about oh here, everybody's name will appear above uh, below their below their faces, and this is the perfect time to say welcome. To toilet talk. You can lead a person to toilet, but you can't make them drink. Uh, so we have to bring them, uh, bring them the toilets now. Do we have the first toilet? I have the first toilet. Here is the first toilet. Oh, God. Wait, did we look at this one already? No, we didn't. No. That Ooh. is. I thought for a second. I thought for a second that that was going to be a. Uh, like a. Like, I thought that it was going to be someone on their back with like really big thighs. Like, yeah. that's just my first instinct upon seeing it someone it's like a person right with boobs and a really and really big thighs laying with their face down uh where we're standing and their legs out to the other side um, i definitely thought it was a human person for a second mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um wow also my second thought was that this was one of those like uh mirror optical illusion things you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying where like you can have a big long mirror and you sit at the end and then you do the thing and it looks like you're jumping or whatever mm -hmm. i thought it Absolutely. was that but it can't be that <laughs> it's definitely not that yeah it's got some, something that first impressions are really really something here something that very much upsets me is the pile of magazines and the pair of sneakers left near this toilet bathtub combo mm -hmm. um and the chair full of shit on it in the background <laughs> i don't <laughs> <laughs> the chair full of shit on it is an essential, I think, um, ingredient to any any home. But the fact that the fact that all this mess is here indicates to me that this is a home environment and mm -hmm. not, say, a showroom for um, fantastic. Oh yeah, for sure. Perverts. But the other thing is, is like those two people have never seen this before. Mm -mm. Like they're That's they're very thing. confused by this, so they don't live there. You can this clearly see the frown on the one in the middle's face. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is this a staged house? Are they trying is to it? sell this house? Because they should have done a better job of making things look a little less crazy. I don't think the staging company in comes in and puts magazines and <laughs> shoes around all over the place. I don't think that's typically with their MO. They what walk in and they go, like this a, will make it a, homey. I think it's at like an art gallery and the magazines and chair full of shit are part of the installation. Yeah, maybe. That's true. Because there is no seat on this toilet. No, also, like, the way that they're looking at it, they're, like, they look like people that are in a gallery. Mm-hmm. 
I could I could see that. I could see that. Also, can we comment on how perfect the toilet section looks for somebody with a really wide butt? Just one, <laughs> just a really wide ass. Yeah. You want one hole in the middle, then you wouldn't want the yeah. dudes to be you know, landing. It's like, it's, it's like a peak. They, they could like roll yeah, on the, either side of the peak. Well, what if it's like you you produce a perfectly balanced log and it can't <laughs> tilt either direction mm-hmm. because of because of the balance? Or what if it's a sticky duke? Mm-hmm. Like, just clings <laughs> to the side above the water level. My favorite thing about this podcast is that we say no pissies and no shitties, and then we immediately start talking about pissies and well, shitties. It's just not, <laughs> they're not visible. It. I know, I know it's That's just all. funny to me. It is, I mean, <laughs> it is funny. funny. Yeah, the, I, I'm going to say that would, that would create off, an awful mess if somebody uh, used mm-hmm. what uh, really redefines the word turd cutter. <laughs> um... <laughs> Turd cutters, <laughs> they're, they're not just thongs anymore. They're also toilets that cut your turds in half. That's uh, really something special. Uh, also, I, I want to say I really appreciate that the, uh, the choice of sneakers, uh, Adidas. Adidas. Oh, yeah, they're Adidas. Adidas are three stripes. Yep. I thought Sambas were three stripes. Never mind. Yeah, you know, when you see somebody in Adidas doing a, doing a slob squat when they're also wearing a tracksuit, uh, you can see that the lines line up. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know. I feel like that's an Easter egg, you know? <laughs> the Adidas <laughs> Easter egg. Like yeah. You know, once you get that really good squat in. Yeah, absolutely. I wish I could squat. I wish you could squat too, buddy. Dang it. Ding, you know what dang. everyone can do? Poop. Everyone can pop a squat. True. 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 <laughs> uh, Is that true? I think. Well, I mean, unless you're can. like colostomate or something like that. Yeah. But that's a whole. That's a whole schlep, isn't it? Uh, what's up with the curtain in the background? If it's in a gallery, I think. Yeah, that's sense. part of. Yeah, that's part of the reason I think it's a gallery. Because mm. like the curtain also goes around the chair. Mm-hmm. It's not just like covering windows. It's either a gallery or this is an exhibitionist bathroom, and the curtain opens up to like full panoramic windows so that everyone can see you duking and bathing with your intimate Where? partner. Mm-hmm. Where are all of our toilets for perverts? <laughs> Every single bathroom we <laughs> look at is for perverts. Realistically, all bathrooms are for perverts because That's everyone's true. a pervert. That's true. That's real. Um, Everybody's perverse in their own ways. This is why the this is why the fascists fail. They think they think that there's the possibility of an unperverted person. And They're baby, wrong. baby, that ain't the case. Uh, I really like the idea of this actually being in kind of like a people zoo, <laughs> um, where they can like close that off or they can leave it open, depending on whether you know they want people outside watching. Uh, what are they called? What are the people, uh, the aliens called in, in, uh, oh God, all the words are leaving me in Slaughterhouse Five. Well, the, you know how they take the guy to the zoo. They, they put the guy in the zoo. Same thing. It's just, this is the same. I was thinking like the TOS episode where I think it's like the pilot episode even where they get put in the zoo. Wow. I do not remember that episode. Although I do not it's, like the original series all that much. No, nah, me neither. I fucking hate it. <laughs> wow, this is a. The, also, I, I. Lastly, I really think that we. Maybe not lastly. I don't want to speak for everybody, of course, but uh, I'm going to try to. Uh, the bathtub is in the shape of a heart. Well, says so the toilet. Sure. Just the bottom is covered by the tank. You just don't want to the- think about the toilet being shaped like a heart. Because that has some weird implications. It's, for an, it's you wouldn't have a toilet jointed like this if it wasn't for two people to use at the same exactly. time while exactly. caressing each other romantically. That's why we've it's already like seen. Heart. Yeah, we've already seen so many fucking like four two toilets. True. Like, this is definitely for two people to shit on right next to each other and hold hands and snuggle. Yeah, while poop to- is exiting their bodies. To- toy for two. It's not a. It's a it's not, yeah, it's a tulip. Thank you, thank you so much. You beat me to it. You're welcome. Oh my god, 
Uh, what I am really looking forward to is when we eventually find the trilet. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I want Any a toilet that's shaped like a clover, like a four leaf clover. Mm. A quadlet? Yeah, a quadlet. <laughs> a qu- cloverlet. Mm-hmm. A tetlet. A tetlet. field was about. Yes. <laughs> and we all saw how that went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Well, any any final thoughts about this toilet? I love it. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing ratings anymore, but this no. would be up there if we were rating it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, champagne glasses are add a nice touch as well. That's true. Yeah. There needs to be an ice cooler those. near it. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Maybe in the back of the toilets, in the in the yeah. reservoirs. One of my favorite good. things in the world is drinking champagne in the bathtub. So I am all in favor of that. I like I drinking like the champagne of beers in the in the bathtub, but oh, yeah, that's that's, pretty, that's, that's pretty that's pretty close, you know. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, here is our next contender coming from uh, beautiful, beautiful whatever city Rutgers is in. I don't know. <laughs> I thought my head. What oh, God. <laughs> no. oh God! I feel like as a Mainer, I should be spiritually connected with this. As someone who's lived in Maine for um, six months now, I can call myself a Mainer. Mm, got um, it. But <laughs> <laughs> a naturalized Mainer. Yeah. yeah, I also feel bad for the lobster. I mean, he's clearly dead. He's been boiled, but still. Yeah. Uh, definitely not alive. Very, no. very boiled and dead, but then mm-hmm. put in a toilet. <laughs> also, Where who is lobster is bad and gross. Wow. Do you mean as a food, or do you mean as a food? Okay. As like a creature, they're red. I love lobster. They're giving this lobster a Viking funeral where they send the lobster <laughs> oh, away no. from their home through the pipes. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, did, did somebody try and save this lobster via uh, trans-toiletization? I don't, I don't know. And if they did, why, did, why were they so wrong about that? Because it's clearly been boiled to death. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm wondering if this is in a home or a public space, because I, I can only imagine how fucking depressing this bathroom is. Oh, that's only a, from the black hex tiles. Yeah, that's floor. a public space. I've 100%. never seen a home toilet with those kinds of seats. Absolutely, I agree with you one hundred percent. Never seen a home toilet with that kind of seat, mm-hmm. and I've never seen that kind of tile in a bathroom either. That is definitely a public bathroom, or like a bathroom had, in a business or something. I've had, I've had white hexagons in uh in a in a home style bathroom. Mm-hmm. Um, home style. But, Never, never, never black hexagons. I think having an all black bathroom in your own house is like a cry for help. <laughs> if I could, if I could, I would have every room in my house just be all black because I like to live in complete darkness. That is a cry for help. Cry yeah. for help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's not, I'm happy. I just like darkness. Okay. I Anyone? swear, I, I swear I'm happy. The only time I turn the light on in my room is when we're recording this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a joke. That is a true fact. I mean, yeah, it requires, it takes a lot of heat. It really heats a room up to have uh, lights on in it. Something I, I think people don't think about it enough, right? It's like how much, how much heat light generates. Enough heat to boil a lobster, even. That's true. That's the fuck That's are you talking another, about definitely not true but hey let's fucking do it so so if this bathroom is in a public place and this lobster is cooked do you think someone is really unhappy with the chef or what what do you think how did this lobster end up in the toilet of a public bathroom as someone to a home yeah. bathroom anyone anything goes you can put anything right. in your own toilet that's in the constitution mm-hmm. i think the public mm-hmm. bathroom is confusing i think someone uh quit their job and as like a, a protest, they were like, fuck this. And then they threw the lobster in the toilet and stormed out. I think that's that's probably a fair, fair assumption. Uh, I'm I'm just assuming that somebody was like, you know, it would be funny. 
<laughs> yeah, that's probably people do. Part, people like, do be like that. <laughs> yeah. <sure. laughs> you know, it'd be yeah, really yeah, funny that, is if a if a lobster cl- climbed out of the <laughs> bottom of a toilet. <laughs> With and then the with, next person that comes in here will see it. <laughs> yeah, and they'll be like, oh, God, is it going to pinch my asshole? <laughs> That's definitely the most likely answer. I this lobster is certainly dead. Oh, yeah. But mm-hmm. I, can imagine, I can imagine it making, like, just from the, the capillary action or whatever the fuck of the water, making, like, a small twitch of some, some kind. And I would know it was dead, but I would still be very freaked out looking at this lobster and absolutely wonder, is my butthole going to be pinched if I <laughs> saw this in my bathroom experience? Yeah. I like to imagine that somebody came in here and then went to the bathroom on top of the lobster, too. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. And they were like, <laughs> and and then they were they got up and they're like, what did I eat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You know, imagine like this is this is an advanced form of finding corn. <laughs> yeah, you might find uh, just a full lobster came out of your ass. You go, do I have crabs? No, it's a lobster. I I have an idea. How about instead of rating <laughs> toilets, we replace rating with just simply whether we like it or not. I mean, I'm down to say we like it or not. Yeah, I'm, that's fine. I don't like this one. I yeah, me neither. I yeah, I hate, hate it. it. Okay, I, would, I, 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 I really agree. <laughs> I would, uh, I would not partake. Some no. blood mouth is responsible for this. I know it. Yeah, absolutely. Josh, did you do this? <laughs> As a no. resident blood mouth. No, I did not. <laughs> I'm not that cruel. Okay, I'm, I'm cruel. Right. I'm cruel enough to consume right. animal products, but. Uh, not cruel enough to <laughs> throw a dead lobster in a toilet and torture whoever goes into the bathroom next. I mean, it's just the, they threw a whole fucking lobster in there. I mean, maybe they you took the tail the off. The tail might be, yeah, they might have eaten the tail and they were like, I don't want the rest. I don't want these claws. I mean, yeah. like, not wanting the front half of the lobster makes sense. It's a big organy mess. Mm-hmm. But But the claws? People love the claws. Do they? I don't... I like I don't like lobster, so I I wouldn't know. I don't know. I only know crab, really. Yeah, crab's fucking delicious. I love crab. I haven't had it in ten years, but uh, I I remember it fondly. Fondly. <laughs> Next, coming right up. Whoa. Okay. All right. I am fucking. I'm fucking. I'm fucking ye- yo so excited about this one. Yeah, I, I, I really want to be in this room. I want to leave the room that I'm in now and enter that room through my computer monitor. So that I see the like word. Room. I see the word modern toilet. Mm-hmm. I don't see. It looks like <laughs> there's some text above it. I can't make it out by Hasbro. Of, no, I can't read it Hasbro? either. I'm just joking. Yeah, um, I'm just assu- I'm just assuming it's Hasbro though. The modern toilet Where? by Hasbro. What kind of building is this toilet in? I don't know, but this is another stairwell toilet. Mm-hmm. I know. This is There's a no separate, this, is, this is not a functional toilet for sure. No, it's not. It's, it's definitely full not a functional. Of, it's not attached to the wall, and it is full of roses. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely not functional. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a tank either. Mm-mm. I'm very impressed with this woman uh, standing here for the photo op, holding her yeah. nose. Yeah, <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> I uh, love it so much. I'm revi- I'm reminded very much of an Outcast song right now. Oh yeah, which one? I, I know you like to think your shit don't stink, <laughs> but lean a bit a little bit closer, and those roses they smell like poo 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 poo. Yeah. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of this muffin? Or is that supposed to be Cupcake? ice cream? It's I was cupcake. thinking it's like a toothpaste swirl. Wow. I don't think toothpaste. I think it's either yeah. ice cream or a cupcake. It's definitely it is that says frosting. toilet on it. Like this would have to is it like pink? Do you poop? put toothpaste in your toilet? Yes. No, but toothpaste goes in the bathroom. <laughs> 
Cupcakes <laughs> don't go in the bathroom. This is a bathroom object. It says it toilet. It could be a turd. It could yeah, be a turd just, emoji. Yeah, it's just oh. saying I think it's like a pink turd. In it's which a... case, we violated our sacred covenant and must pay penance. <laughs> All right, who's gonna yeah. who's gonna be who's got the knives? Who's, who's we gonna, have to punish Mom gonna, for giving us how many this how many how many lashes do I have to apply to myself? <laughs> oh, no, just one small bloodletting. Send me the leeches <laughs> in the mail. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh um i do really appreciate uh and think that more bathrooms should probably have uh little picket fence gardens of flowers um, yeah that is nice yeah i also think more bathrooms should be bright pink and orange mm. mm-hmm. i don't know if i can agree with you there but the flowers are nice <laughs> <laughs> why wow, what's wrong with bright pink and orange just too much. It's like I walk in there and I don't even know what's a wall, what's sir. It's like dazzle camo. It's too much color all at once. I get confused. Monk walks into the Didn't bathroom and just falls talk down. About dazzle camo in the last episode. I talk about. Yeah. Listen, it's a big part of my life. I can't see very well, so bright <laughs> colors are bad. <laughs> oh, no. Yar. 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 I love uh, this toilet. I like looking at it a lot. Yeah. I like the whole room. I like the aesthetic. I love it. So the shower head. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I really <laughs> don't. I like. I really don't know what to make of that. It goes and, directly over the turd too. I, well, that's because you yeah, just need to right. waffle stuff that shit. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, it's everybody. Dry. It's not a real. It doesn't function. I wish this was a real bathroom. That's what I wish. Yeah, I'd like to see. Like, this is a proof of concept, I think. But like, the, what they're trying to, what they're trying to make, I, I support. What they're, what the spirit, the esprit, the, the this of this bathroom is very, uh, is very important, and I, I want to see it realized. You know. Same. Sadly, I'm this is just absolutely. a absolutely. It's just a f- absolutely free spirit. Yeah. Yeah. It's <sighs> This is the utopian bathroom. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> no. I think last episode we had the utopian bathroom. Sayo. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. Are we about to get canceled by the tankies for calling their ideas utopian? Is that what? Mm-hmm. Is that how leftist <laughs> works now? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think so. I'm trying to figure out what the seat is, but I can't. It's litter. It's just it, litter, I think. I can't be. It's like whatever it is. It's like such big, giant chunks of something mm-hmm. in it's, the seat. I don't think it's litter. If- the bright colors are distracting you and preventing you from discerning the object here. Shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, it almost looks like petals. Yeah, I was gonna say like flower petals, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like a pink resin or some shit. And the top of the, the, the toilet's top seat is just... It looks like it's a piece of cardboard stapled to the wall, and I'm a little <laughs> bit disappointed. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I like this one. I think this. Yeah. Is- Me too. My only, my only real complaint about this one is the uh, like rug thing around the toilet. I hate those things. Yeah, they're like. You mean the, the piss magnets. catcher? Yeah. Mm-hmm. P magnets. Awesome. Yeah, I like this one. I, I I'll give this a like. Everybody got a like. Thumbs up. Cool. I I absolutely um, am a big, big, big fan of this one, but it's it's pretty quick. I think. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I love it so much. <laughs> I don't know why you think this is a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> I would unironically like this entire bathroom. I'm sure is like hellish and uh-huh. some relic of a decade past. Uh-huh. I can't place which decade it would be, uh-huh. but the <laughs> fact that this this toilet set has endured probably potentially generations of use and still <laughs> maintained the original beautiful seat 
the original beautiful the matching like trash can and I was uh, just gonna folder that. next to yeah. it. This is a miracle, is what this is. This is uh-huh. this is God shining his light on this family's bathroom. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is the Parthenon of bathrooms. <laughs> 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 do you think those cats are painted or like a decal that is a decal when the, the the yellowing on those those are uh those that is somebody printed out pictures of cats and then mod podge them on there okay. i am i am like 90 percent sure so what what where how would you date this toilet if you were the antiques roadshow expert on toilets which i'm sure you would be mm-hmm. um how would you how would you date this what Pro- would you I put this at seventy five. Yeah. I'd put it at eighty two. Uh, well, I'm gonna put it at eighty three, and whoever gets closest about going over is the fuck you, fuck you, wow, fuck wow. You. Uh, so notable things here. Uh, I mean, you've already brought up that it's a fully matching set, which god damn, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the on the the reservoir tank in the back, you can see that somebody had to uh, fix it and make the water go into the top, which is something you don't see very many places. Uh, for the most part, toilets try to hide the uh, the internal workings, as they do with, uh, with pretty much the entire process of uh, pissy shitty. Uh, so... You know, it's a like this is a this is a pretty remarkable thing. Somebody did repairs on this toilet and major ones. That's what I'm saying right here. Yeah. Uh that's that's big. It's big. Yeah, this toilet has definitely been around. Mm-hmm. What I'm wondering uh, can is Can I also comment on the fact that they put the toilet paper the correct way? Hmm. That's mm. true. Well then they don't have cats. That's I mean, Maybe. that toilet paper looks loose. That looks like they've had to re-roll up that toilet paper yeah. after cat has pulled it all down. Yeah. Also, not all cats uh, do the toilet paper shit. Uh, my last cat did not. My cat before it did. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they could definitely be dissuaded. That is absolutely true. But I didn't even have to dissuade my last cat. She what had if, no interest in toilet paper rolls. Hmm. What if the owner had a cat, a, a set of cats that they were very, very emotionally attached to? And when those cats passed, they made this toilet to commemorate them. And those are the owner's huh? old, those are the old cats. It's that a died. memorial toilet. This is a memorial. Mm-hmm. And that's why they can hang their toilet paper the right way. Because they'll never love again after losing those cats. But they, they can reminisce every time they take a shit. Take a dump. <laughs> God damn, that's just beautiful. I mean, this is probably yeah. where the cat's favorite room was. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, uh, lesser, lesser, lesser thing here. Balls of yarn. Are you yeah. seeing those? Or, oh yeah, on the yeah, yeah. On the seat, yeah. I yeah. I didn't recognize those until I zoomed in uh, quite a bit. But those cats in the basket and the cat playing with uh, I don't know what, surrounded <laughs> by balls of yarn. This is a joyful scene. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. If a you little stereotypical, they were happy. You don't remember. You don't want to remember the cats bad moments you want to remember the good times you don't remember want to remember them biting your toes under your computer desk while you're trying to <laughs> play rainbow six mm-hmm. you <laughs> absolutely I think your cat might be the only cat in the world that like eats people's toes <laughs> i've never heard I, of that before i don't think that that's that rare but okay if you would like to if you'd like to tell me that what my cat does is unusual, then feel free. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's happy. definitely unusual. If you'd like to pathologize Monk's cat, you do you. But... <laughs> I'm gonna armchair psychologist Monk's cat. Oh, this is uh, a call for the parents to do it. Fuck you, Josh. I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask, uh, like, what is the white box next to the toilet? With the, like, a, that's the complaint department. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you just don't want to know. I think it's, my answer is you don't want to know. Okay. Yeah. It's a secret. Also, what I would like to know is when this when this toilet was made, was that the standard seat shape for toilets? Because that seat looks incredibly uncomfortable to actually sit on. It's wide. That is a wide <laughs> toilet seat. Yeah. It also looks like weirdly 
lifted in the middle, but I think that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. I think so, too. Also, inside the bowl, what is that dark thing on the left? Oh, that's a toilet bowl cleaner. It, every time you oh. flush, it cleans your bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, something some people do. Yeah, I've never seen one of those in real life. Well, I just throw my toilet down every time I use it because it takes, it takes like five seconds. It tastes like... <laughs> it tastes oh. like... <laughs> Oh. Why are you licking the inside of your toilet bowl, I'm dude? Not, but thank you. <laughs> I don't fucking believe I'm you. Not, that was, but that thank was you. Very telling slip of the thank tongue, you. my friend. Wow. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, last uh, last thing from me, uh, the tiling around this toilet is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the rest of this bathroom. I don't even want to know what the shower looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like the tiling is not well done. It's uh it looks like it's all rectangles, yeah, not they're squares. Rectangles. They're not even, yeah. It also is like it looks like the tiles on the floor, the, you can see they get narrower as they go further in on the right side. Mm -hmm. so oh, yeah, look like at that. Trapezoid, this is like a little trapezoid compartment that this toilet yeah. is sitting in. Yeah, someone also really like screwed the pooch here. The tile on the left is kind of like raised up a little bit on the wall, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Or the grout's just really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Someone just hammer fucked this tile job. Yeah. And I mean, you know, hey, this was the 90s. We didn't, or 80s or 70s. We didn't have, <laughs> we didn't have, <laughs> we didn't have levels and calculators back then, you know? Square. <laughs> Uh, square edges? Nah. -uh. This is again. This is the Parthenon of toilets. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> say whether we like it or not. Oh yeah, good point. I like this toilet. A I lot. like it. I would love to have this toilet. I I would love to visit this toilet, but I wouldn't want to live here. But do no, you I like? Live but, I want to hey, use that toilet every day. Simple question: Do you like it or not? Yeah, I do like it. Well, then give it a thumbs up. Come on, goddamn. Cool. It's extremely good. All right, final toilet. Which isn't really even a toilet. You're going to have to click on it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to click on it because I had already seen this one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, any, any toilet where I'm uh, required to... Uh, Required to like jazz um, is <laughs> it's, like uh, it's a powerful toilet. Yeah, I do not want to sit on any toilet that has bees, though. Uh, that is <laughs> just ever. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this place. Is this yep. a park? I think so. I I think so too. There really isn't anything to say about it. We just <laughs> look at the sign, laugh, and then... Hey, remember, everyone, please be aware of the bees. That's our, that's our <laughs> official message for this. That's the moral of this toilet talk. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please be aware of the bees. <laughs> <laughs> think of the bees. Think and of yeah. the bees. Think of the bees while please. you follow us on Twitter. Uh, Twitter at CursedMonk. Brian, you want to shout your Twitter out? Yeah, sure. Out? Check me out on, on uh, Twitter.com, uh, Trashcan1312, and also on uh, Twitch.tv, uh, same Numb the Guerre, and uh, yeah, everywhere else. Same thing. If you type in Trashcan1312, you'll find me. I'm, I'm the bread pill. I only have a Twitter right now. That's it. The I, do have a, I do have a Twitch as well. Twitch is uh, twitch.tv slash cursed monk. Uh, Twitter is cursed underscore monk. Uh, lately, I've been streaming um, I, uh, lots of weird, weird indie games. So if you enjoy that, that's what uh, I'm going to be up to these days. Um, hopefully every day for a few hours at least. Um, cool. Yeah. Is that it for everyone? Any final comments, concerns? Yeah, uh, hey, everybody, thanks for hanging out, uh, you know, enjoying the toilets with us. Uh, and, you know, remember to keep an eye out for toilet bees. 
We'll see you next time on The Toilet Talk. <laughs>